so welcome students let's start with 250 show short in dental materials dental materials is important scoring and will make it simple for you without wasting your time let us start chapter 1 physical properties F questions usually come on shade signs shade signs mein kya puchhenge munsell color system it is a three dimensional color system where you get quantity of color let me just check this yeah where you get quantity of color you can uh, measure it right it was given by a scientist called albert munsell it is a three dimension it has got three dimensions that is hue value and chroma hue value is basically on a z axis central z axis hue surrounds it in the form of a circumference and chroma is the radius okay value goes from 0 to 10 0 is bottom that is black color 10 is white that is the highest color right then there are terms like metamerism when you see an object in two different light sources because of their different wavelengths it produces different color that is metamerism like a yellow ball will look uh, different in yellow light and in white light it will look in a different color then fluorescence absorption of light by a material and spontaneous emission of light in longer wavelength this is fluorescence fluorescence is a natural phenomena by tooth also classical example they give you is a question a patient uh, undergoes say restoration into one to one to upper centers and laterals say crowns you have put ceramic crowns and the patient goes to a dentist uh, for this then in the evening patient goes to a discotheque when patient goes to a discotheque ultimately uh, like uh, the what problem is the crowns look missing the teeth look missing what property is missing answer is fluorescence what is the ingredient in the ceramic and composite that is cerium oxide ceo2 cerium c e r i u m cerium oxide is responsible for fluorescence in natural teeth when you go to a disco light or you can say fluorescent light atmosphere dj lights you can say you see natural teeth also okay it means natural teeth also show property of fluorescence what is that it is because of the collagen network which is suspended in water bath in dentine that is responsible remember all properties of uh, shade signs are related to enamel fluorescence is related to dentine then there is a term called bezold bruck effect very important multiple times basically at low light levels rods predominate over cones in dark light you have co rods and cones rods dominate and color perception is lost as the brightness increases or becomes more intense color appears to change so due to this effect if color perception is done against an intense color background the color perception shift towards the complementary color also there is an alternate version of it if you want to take shades of teeth do not look at white or bright white objects okay do not look at white wall and then look at white teeth the shade will change to complementary complementary means blue ka complementary is yellow so you yellow ka complementary is blue and so on right then there is one question on uh, many a times in ini also and neat they give you the shades this is the value base shade guide beta shades in order of decreasing value b1 has got the highest value c4 has got the lowest value also note down the shade guide okay the shade guide does not have d1 okay it does not have d1 it starts from d2 okay so the questions are brightest shade is b1 least value is of c4 most common in india is a2 one two three four is increasing chroma shade number missing is d1 a b c d are different hues value oriented shade guide this is the order and they give you four or five shades and they ask you to arrange in increasing or decreasing value read the question properly before you answer it the third chapter where you get one question 100 percent in your dm is gypsum three theories of setting of gypsum they ask you and they ask which one is most accepted answer is dissolution precipitation theory test for setting of gypsum or sometimes they ask you three names you have to remember okay these three names what they tell you is which of the following is not a theory of setting of gypsum then test for setting of gypsum loss of gloss test gilmore test we again which of the following is not a test then three mechanisms to control setting time again which is not a mechanism can be asked 
but these all three mechanisms are very important solubility of hemihydrate if solubility of hemihydrate is increased super saturation of dihydrate is faster this will accelerate the reaction nuclei of crystallization asked multiple times increase in nuclei of crystallization faster the crystal formation decrease of setting time basically they ask you which of the following will decrease the setting time or which of the following will increase the setting time this question related to nuclei has been asked couple of times in recent papers which of the following will decrease sorry not decrease setting time which will increase setting time or not decrease so read the question very very properly see in neat you don't get pen and paper okay so you have to calculate in your mind when you are doing not wale questions then rate of crystal growth increase or decrease of crystal growth will accelerate or decelerate the setting time increase in rate will decrease decrease in rate will increase the setting time okay if we mix dental plaster with boiling water no reaction take place need 2020 mcq no reaction as water approaches 100 degree centigrade then there are other factors like impurities in the form of fine gypsum particle residues any impurity will decrease setting time reason is increase in number of nuclei of crystallization fineness of powder decrease in size of the particle the more the fine the powder is increase number of nuclei of crystallization and this is decrease setting time i told you amongst all the properties this is utmost important you have to understand this property to answer rest of the properties as well fineness of powder is we have done water powder ratio weight or volume of more water added increase in water powder ratio means what more of water is added will decrease nuclei of crystallization and nuclei of crystallization decrease means increase in setting time right just one second okay mixing of gypsum the longer and more rapidly the gypsum mix mix shorter is the setting time okay increase in spatulation will decrease temperature increase in temperature will decrease setting time this is the only where your exception to this rule okay gypsum is the only material showing this exception then modifiers accelerators and retarders accelerators will decrease retarders will increase and there is the list of accelerators k2so4 more than 2% slurry water sodium chloride sodium sulfate borax access accelerator when concentration is less than 0.2 moles borax more than 0.2 millimoles it will increase controlling factors which are setting x which are controlling the factors which are controlling the setting expansion lower water powder ratio longer mixing time will increase setting expansion potassium sulfate 2% is related to accelerator of reaction 4% is related to setting expansion sodium chloride grounded gypsum particles increase setting expansion okay then in relation to strength in gypsum remember green shrinkage is related to ethyl silicate bonded investment material greening is related to alloys containing silver green strength is related to gypsum green strength or wet strength okay